Keras is an open source neural network library written in Python. It is capable of running on top of TensorFlow, Microsoft Cognitive Toolkit, R, the Anno, or Plaid ML. Keras was designed to enable fast experimentation with deep neural networks. It focuses on being user friendly, modular, and extensible. It was developed as part of the research effort of Project Open Ended Neuroelectronic Intelligent Robot Operating System. And its primary author and maintainer is Francois Chollet, a Google engineer. In 2017, Google's TensorFlow team decided to support Keras in TensorFlow's core library. Chollet explained that Keras was conceived to be an interface rather than a standalone machine learning framework. It offers a higher level, more intuitive set of abstractions that make it easy to develop deep learning models, regardless of the computational backend used. Microsoft added a CNTK backend to Keras as well, available as of CNTK version 2.0. Keras contains numerous implementations of commonly used neural network building blocks, such as layers, objectives, activation functions, optimizers, and a host of tools to make working with image and text data easier and to simplify the coding necessary for writing deep neural network code. The code is hosted on GitHub, and community support forums include the GitHub Issues page, and a Slack channel. In addition to standard neural networks, Keras has support for convolutional and recurrent neural networks. It supports other common utility layers like dropout, batch normalization, and pooling. Keras allows users to productize deep models on smartphones, iOS and Android, on the web, or on the Java virtual machine. It also allows use of distributed training of deep learning models on clusters of graphics processing units GPU and tensor processing units TPU principally in conjunction with CUDA. Keras is a neural network library while TensorFlow is the open source library for a number of various tasks in machine learning. TensorFlow provides both high-level and low-level APIs while Keras provides only high-level APIs. Keras is built in Python which makes it way more user-friendly than TensorFlow. TensorFlow is the most famous library used in production for deep learning models. However, TensorFlow is not that easy to use. On the other hand, Keras is a high-level API built on TensorFlow. The API designed for human beings, not machines. This makes Keras easy to learn and easy to use. As a Keras user, you are more productive, allowing you to try more ideas than your competition, faster, which, in turn helps you win machine learning competitions. You can use TensorFlow without Keras, essentially building the model by hand and taking care of all the gory details yourself, but you cannot use Keras without an underlying engine.